every species on the planet has a story to tell. People told me when we went out to photograph the blues that it couldn't be done. They said, there's no way you're going to be able to get even close to one of these animals. If you want to achieve the impossible, just tell me it can't be done. I used to be embarrassed to say I was a filmmaker. Because I felt like, Jesus, there's so many people that are real filmmakers. I went to my mother and said, Mother, I want to be a diver. With the advent of the Cousteau Sucoupe Submarine, or Submarine Saucer. As a kid, I watched Jacques Cousteau specials. I just felt like there's a whole huge world of adventure out there. My name is Louis Sohoyas. I'm the executive director of the Oceanic Preservation Society. I'm also director of a film called The Cove. The holy grail of underwater videography to me is to get a blue whale and a human being in scale. It's the biggest animal to ever be on the planet, and nobody's ever gotten a great shot of it with the human scale. And what I want to do is assemble a team of, call it superheroes. I think what unites them is they're all misfits and mavericks, and they're dreamers. that ever lived on the planet, bigger than any, any dinosaur ever. Right away, just reported them in that area. Roger. Problem is, these are some of the fastest animals in the water in the world. Right there, right there, right there. Where, where? At, at 10 o'clock. They, you know, they can go about 20 to 30 miles an hour. There's just no way to keep up with them. I, I'll get in the water, get in the water. Okay, here we go. Jesus, they're right on top of it now. Yeah, now he's gone. Go, 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 go. Go, go to the front of the boat. Wait, they're, uh, they're kind of turning. The front of the boat, listen to me. <laughs> oh, she, she, she turned. She turned. Did you see it? Yeah, it's safe, but then it just kind of turned. And I couldn't keep up with it. How, how many minutes has it been? Oh, he's right there. He's coming up behind you. Go for it. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to make this. What the f is going on? Don't even tell us unless it's right near us. Why the f are they doing that? We have one chance at it. Oh, let's just get on the boat. One opportunity to do this stuff, guys. We've been professional. Yeah, there was tail, up until this last but shot. it was a long tail. Like a long shot. It doesn't make any sense, Kurt. Louis, make your point. At the end of the day, it's super bad visibility. That was the objective, is to try to get a, a video that nobody's ever seen before. And if we succeeded, it was going to be the opening to my new film, Racing Extinction. When I try to describe the new film to people, I just say it's like the Avengers, but real. We're trying to save the world. What's, what's going on is, there's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. There's the Ordovician, 
the Devonian, the Permian, there's the Triassic, Jurassic, and then the KT extinction, the one that killed the dinosaurs. But right now, we're going through a sixth one. It's called the Anthropocene, the age of man. Mankind is having a, such a profound effect on the planet that we're now losing about half the species on the planet by the end of the century. These life forms are so beautiful. They've arrived on this planet through countless hundreds and thousands and even millions of years of evolution. Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Human beings have been around for a fraction of that. So if you take, say, the history of the Earth and try to squeeze it into a 24-hour clock, where does man fit on that clock? A few seconds before midnight. And we're newcomers. Yet this one species, humanity, Homo sapiens, which actually means the wise ones, the wise humans, is causing this massive amount of destruction in the short amount of time we've actually been on the planet. But now we have this choice. Destroyers of worlds, or we can be creators of worlds. Hen, in our last picture we didn't show how you began to be an underwater explorer. I think you would like to know how these things start. Yes. Well, I had the usual childish ambitions. There was an old man who was a diver. He told me stories of under the sea, how beautiful it was down there of the animals that looked like plants, the rocks that looked like flowers. You we're now changing the chemistry of the oceans at such a vast scale. They're talking about by mid-century there being just remnants of coral reefs left. And that to me is like losing everything that's beautiful about the planet in one go. The bright yellow coral that burned your fingers if you touched it. I mean, to think that my grandkids couldn't see the ocean unless they were watching one of our films. I call we call it today. The sea, he said, was more beautiful than any woman. I think we have a crossroads in our own evolution. Unlike any other time in history, we're the generation that can fix things and that we actually have the tools now to do it. I couldn't stand up and give a message of hope if I didn't feel there was still a chance to turn things around. And I do think there's still a chance. The generation that's alive right now is the only generation that can heal the planet. And that to me is not despair. 1802 Zulu. It's empowerment. Win 250. Because if we don't do it, Who else is going to do it? We discussed last night three different areas that we need to work on. From the diver's point of view, we can't be in a constant state of readiness on the back, sitting in the carbon monoxide, which is deadly for a free diver. We know that after going down and feeding from a longer dive, if we don't get on them within the second breath, really the opportunity is probably going to be missed. Okay, the blue's coming up at your 12 right now, and uh, he's still a pretty good ways out there. Hey, you got some up there? Oh my goodness. Biggest spot of bait I've seen all day long. At least two whales. The timing of the whale. When the whale goes down, 
right out there. Taylor's gonna start a minute countdown. All right, we're at three minutes. Come up any second. Let me start prepping. Completely set, ready to go. Cameras are on, rolling in our hand. The whale comes up, and Louie's gonna make the go, no go call. No. Unless they spout or yeah. they're diving, we can't see them. So we have a designated person that's always pointing. What do you think, team break? Let's do it. Let's get some team unity here. Team break. One, two, three, go! Break the surface in about five seconds. Right there, go! Every single one of us has the power to change the world in a very profound way. When we come together, we can do extraordinary things. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's a blue wheel. It just went down. It just went down. It just went down? I think so. It was just huge. Yeah, that's the one we want. Let's uh, keep an eye on him as best we can. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. That thing is huge! Okay, I got a time on it. Let's stay here. It should be any minute. Rope-a-dope is when you when you're fake left, fake left, and then they guard left, and then you hit them with the rope. To, to the left. left. Go, go, go. Mid hat. He's coming up to the right. right. To the right. right. She gave us a little bit of a taste in the morning, and then she's pretty much been evasive all afternoon. Three and a half minutes. And we're thinking she might just give us a goodbye kiss. Just maybe, just for today. Every species on the planet has a story to tell. From plants, to worms, to butterflies, to blue whales, to homo sapiens. have this conceit that we're big and we're not part of it. Actually, all connected. In 200 years, people will look back on this particular period and say to themselves, how did those people at that time just allow all these amazing creatures to vanish? 
we all lose hope, there is no hope. There's still a lot left that's worth fighting for. Margaret Mead, the anthropologist, said, a few thoughtful citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. I want people to see our films and feel changed.